Hello everyone, it's Dr. Shiva Ayadure. Today we're gonna to be talking about lung congestion. And I wanna share with you some of the research that our team as part of the Cytosol Open Science Project, looking at different foods and herbs in nature that can support the lungs. So Shisandra fruit is what we're gonna be talking about today. Shisandra fruit is also known as Shisandra tinensis. It's a vine plant that's native to the forests of Northern and Northeastern China. And it belongs to the Shisandra se family. And it's medicinal use use actually dates back to ancient China. And there's two important aspects where the medicinal properties get derived from. One is the fruit and the other is the root. And one of the things to understand in traditional systems of medicine, everything had very, very different properties, but the medicinal part here is the fruit and the root that we're gonna look at. When we wanna talk about lung congestion, let's look at it. Here's the lungs, which separates out into many, many different branches. And we're looking at one of the branches here. So here's a normal airway. It's nice and clean. That's the wall of the airway. And you can see how over here, there are muscles which control the airway flow. So you see the airway here becomes thickened, you have mucus, and it's wide. So when congestion occurs, you're putting tremendous amounts of stress, the airway walls filled with mucus, and you can also start scarring the airway. So that's what that looks like, the normal condition, and the abnormal condition. So when you get a respiratory tract infection, what ends up happening is an excess amount of blood goes to specific parts of the lungs. The body is trying to rid itself of that infection. And when that happens, a mucus membranes become inflamed and there's excessive mucus production blocks different airways and this is what causes the difficulty in breathing. It's an ideal breeding ground for bacteria leading to secondary infections and the entire process of understanding this comes through a technology I created called Cytosol. Cytosol is a very powerful technology that allows us to do this kind of systems level understanding. We don't have to kill animals and do stuff in a test tube. Long before that we can look at what research has been done, aggregate that research together, figure out the molecular pathways and all of this is done using the computer software that I invented for my PhD. When I created Cytosol, the idea was how do you discover pathways and then how can you actually use that discovery to figure out how combinations of molecules work within that because if we can do that then we can do complex analysis of things that pharma companies cannot do and that was really the development of Cytosol. There are over 1,322 research articles and about 21 clinical trials that have been written about Chisandra fruit over 77 years of scientific research. We want to go and look at the individual pieces of work that have been done and bring them together. That's what a systems approach is. You don't just look at one paper, you look at a body of work. And what emerges when you look at a body of work is truth emerges or something closer to truth than just looking at one thing. So we're going to really mine all those articles, organize them and figure out what's really going on rather than just looking at one paper. And before I go into that, I've given you sort of the big story here that I want to also share share with you that the technology that we use, Cytosol, in our Open Science Project, it was about two years ago, we decided now that we have, over the last 16 years, many, many different molecular machinery that we figured out, what about we looked at everything out there that had to do with pain and inflammation? And we were fortunate to be able to discover a combination of compounds that could have profound effect on pain and inflammation and discomfort. And that product is MV25. But the best way to share with you what this product is, because some of you may be interested in it, but this comes out of using the Cytosol technology. I am Barbara Ann. My hands would cramp up so that I couldn't hold cards or knit or crochet. And they would go like that. Not have to use this when I played cards with my grandkids. And I'd start taking that MB25. After a bit, I was able to hold cards in my hand very, very little cramping, hardly at all anymore. MV25. Hi, my name is Sandy. I'm a Taekwondo instructor. I tore my ACL during Taekwondo. I had a lot of pain and limited mobility. I've been taking the MV25 for about six months now. After the first week, I noticed a big difference. After the second week, almost literally no pain. My name is Jeremy and I suffer from a lower back problem. Hurt my back at work years ago and I can go to the chiropractor, do all kinds of different things and nothing seems to help. And I decided to try MV25. I didn't notice a difference immediately, but within a few days, the pain went away and it stayed away. I've continued to take it. And even when I do things that I shouldn't do, it seems to go away a lot quicker than it ever did before. By the way, all the proceeds go to support our research and our movement, etc. If you buy six bottles, you get six bottles for free. Please take advantage of it because first of all, it's gonna help you. It's gonna help our movement. And 
and it really supports the fact that we want to take science-based approaches to natural products. You can get MV25 if you go to bashiva.com right on the shop, you'll click there, or you can go right to mv25.life, what I'm playing you either way. And then from there, you can click on the bottle and you can order. So first of all, what is Shisandra? What is it composed of, etc.? Food is medicine. The difference between a pharmaceutical drug and food is a pharmaceutical drug is typically one single compound. And it's typically a synthetic compound, something that doesn't occur in nature. Shisandra fruit has close to 306 compounds. That's only the ones that have been identified so far. There could be more. We got six different types of compounds. These are the five that are the active components in Shisandra. Now we want to talk about what are the biological effects of Shisandra fruits. First of all, Shisandra is anti-tusive. Anti-tusive means a cough reliever. It's cardioprotective, protects your heart. Hepatoprotective, protects your liver. Neuroprotective, protects your brain. It's an antioxidant, it's anti-inflammatory, and it's hypoglycemic. What are the health benefits? One of the areas is, we're talking about today, is lung congestion, but it also has other areas. Anti-cancer, anti-diabetes, and it also modulates and supports heart palpitations. When we look at the mechanisms of lung congestion, these are the five major molecular pathways. The arachidonic acid metabolism is one of the key things involved in lung congestion. The next one is cytokine production via MAPK. Then we have cytokine production via NF-kappa-beta. Mucin production. This is where mucus is getting produced, but it's through a series of molecular interactions. Smooth muscle relaxation. You want that. PGE2 gets raised when you get arachidonic acid metabolism. You want to bring that down. IL-1 and IL-8 are these cytokines that get produced. Well, you want to bring those down. IL-6 and 8 are produced via NF-kappa-beta. You want to bring both of these molecules. Mucin-5 is produced during mucin production. You want to bring that down. MLCP is what you want to increase. Four systems you want to downregulate, six different molecules. And there's one molecule you want to increase. So now let's look at Shisandra. How does taking Shisandra affect this lung congestion process, okay? So for example, if I map out all the molecular pathways along here, what does Shisandra fruit do? You notice it really helps smooth muscle relaxation. It definitely helps with mucin 5 and reducing IL-1 and 8. Not that much for PG-2, but this heat map that we have developed helps you understand how Shisandra fruit affects these pathways. So there you go. We just went through Shisandra fruit and lung congestion. I hope this was valuable. Thank you, everyone. Go to truthfreedomhealth.com um, to support yourself and support the movement so you can get educated. Thank you. Be well. Good night.